Hello everyone and welcome to episode 2 of my creative verse. So where we last left off, we were just uh, looking around here. I think it was... Oh, it's daytime now. Would you look at that? Nice. So we got some resources we gotta go collect. So we're looking here at my inventory and it's looking a little on the shady-ish side. So we want to get some resources. So to get some resources, we're gonna go out and say hi to our, our friendly neighbors here. So we're in a nice little neighborhood here, right? So, I mean, we got some of these you little yellow guys out around here. So why don't we just come up and, uh, say hi. Hello, hi. My name's Bren Bren. I'm your neighbor. How you doing, huh? Hey, buddy. I'm, I'm talking to you. I mean, like, hey. I mean, look at me when I'm talking to you, dude. Come on. What, what are you doing? Are you... You turn- how dare you turn your back on me? Huh? Huh? Oops. What- What if I- huh? What if I was, uh, what if I- what if I was to hit you, huh? How do you think of that now, huh? Were you gonna ignore me now, huh? How about now? You gonna ignore me, buddy? Huh? Huh? Yeah, come on. Yeah, let's- yeah. Not ignoring me now, huh? Hey, hey you. Hey, see what I did to your buddy over there? You want to ignore me too, huh? Huh? Oh, oh, I see how it is. Come on. Come on, you. Come on. Yeah. As you can see, I'm making nice with all the people in the neighborhood. Hey, buddy. Come here, me! So, you're probably wondering why I'm doing this. It's because of leather. Leather is made for the first tier of armor. Booze, I haven't figured out what they're for. Great for glue, apparently, so I can make glue. And random goo that's actually used in some TNT and stuff like that, so it's kind of neat. Let's come over here and we're going to say hi to this guy, and we're going to then go find another one. Wine is also used for some weaponry too. Bones is big use too. So we're just gonna go back to our hand here. We're gonna grab our mushrooms. Since they're here. I love how since I'm beside water that makes it assumes that I must be by the ocean. So it makes a sound of the ocean. Okay. We'll leave you alone because I don't need to beat the crap out of you per se. But I'm hoping sand. No, no sand. But hey, brown mushroom. Brown mushroom's good. Brown mushroom, we can make potions. That's good. So we don't want to get too far away from our home here. Let's just see. <laughs> Let's just see what's up here. Nothing. Okay. Let's head back. And then I'm going to show you... Oh, that's not mushroom. That is so. We'll take that. So I'm holding shift for run. You can see the little uh, sprint bar there. So that's what I'm using to uh, get my sprint on. There it is. Got some range on this sucker. Brown mushrooms, good for potions. Potions of healing. That's what we want, baby. There we go. See, you just find them kind of randomly situated here in the hills. Throw places. It's kind of nice. Blue flowers, blue pigment. Use for dyes and such. 
Ah, that's the guy I wanted. This guy's actually passive. So when I hit him, he's just gonna run away. Yeah. That horn is what I wanted. Eating his belly. Good, two of them already. That's very good. Ah, uh, more mushrooms. Huh? That's what I want. Oh, so wonderful beeswax. pulled out a little too far. Well, guess what? We're going to have some leaves. So we got some beeswax there, which is good, but that's only one one comb. It's not a lot. <sighs> what the hell is this guy? Chizilla? Kill badge, Chizilla. Okay. So, actually brought me back here, which was kind of nice. So we have to go back to that Chizilla there and uh, get our stuff. That's uh, that was unfortunate. I did not really want to die. That was not my plan. But I have never seen a Chizilla before. And he looked ripe for the taking. Unfortunately, he uh, rolled my ass. Yes, that was a technical term there. Rolled by the uh, Chizilla. Yes. Come back here, you. that for bones. I feel like I wasted my time. That did not turn out to be worth it. <laughs> now we know. They're not worth it until we figure out what the gizzard is used for. Until we know, they're not worth the battle. Okay. Chizilla 1. Bren Bren 1. Until next battle, good sir, I'll make sure. Ooh, hello. Coal node right outside here, that's fantastic. <laughs> okay, so this is a perfect, perfect find. This will give us the opportunity. See, because you can't pick those up, right? You can't harvest them in that manner. So let's get this out of the way here. All around it, make sure we find all the specific coal nodes. Okay, I don't 
see any more, so we will come back for you. And we'll check over there, maybe there's some... Whoa. Hello? Brown mushroom. Okay, so let's go... around... Hehe. <laughs> so many mushrooms. Let's go back and around our place. Ooh, red mushrooms now. Okay. Let's go back to our place. We're going to go and uh, create an extractor. Sorry. I'm just sitting here thinking to myself, like, hmm. Haul that back, haul that back. And then I can torch there, torch there. Alright. Torch there, torch there. Torch there. Just kind of light it up a bit. And then that way I can take it that and that. There. Now the room's kind of square. So let's see here, I need the extractor, which now I need wooden slabs and stone slabs for it. So I should have stone slabs, and would you look at that, I was good and I created some wooden slabs last time, so now I can come here and go craft. So as you saw, it didn't take any time to craft it. So first things first, let's get this thing down. This is our telemaporter. This is how we will get back home later on. See? Beautiful. I'll show you that later. Okay, then we need our extractor. Where did you go? Hunting inventory, extractor. Oh, you're already down there. Wonderbar. Okay. Okay then, so, let's go around the edge here, I'll show you the extractor. The extractor is going to give us the ability to get the forge as well, which is nice. So we're just going to do a little more gathering while the extractor does its job, but I'll show you kind of how it works. So we come around the back here, I got that coal block, so we grab our extractor, and we let it go to work. So. As you can see here, it's going to give us six coal in two minutes and 20 seconds. So when that's done, it will sit there and wait for me to come back and collect it. So it will provide six coal, which is very nice, but there are different tiers of them. Now as you get up higher, you can build advanced ones that will double the, util double the uh, output. And then there's other ones you can get as well that might even quadruple or triple the output. Let's see, you are a bad person. You down there are a very, very bad person. I don't want to go near you. And you up there are also a very bad person. So we are not going to go that side. That is not the route in which we will travel. No. And it looks like it might be getting dark soon. So that needs to hurry up and harvest. Yes, very much so. We only got one beeswax, which was kind of sad. We need uh, definitely more than just one. Yeah, see. Lots of fossils in here, which we can use to turn into bone, but, I mean, nothing to, uh, to out of the ordinary, if you will. 
this here, that's still going to process for another few minutes. You can see the fog's rolled in. I like that effect. Foggy OTR. So if you see on my map there, I get a little X now that kind of marks where my uh, where my teleportation place is. So 30 seconds, and that will be done. Okay, 2019. So sometimes you'll find nodes like two or three of them in one spot. I found one really good one I was playing at a test world. And it had uh, had like six or eight obsidian nodes in one location. Yeah, I know, obsidian. I wonder where they get that idea from. Oh my. Yes, that is darkness falling upon us. And as we saw from just non-hostile mobs, I do not want to get stuck out here during the night. So, quick glance up there tells me there's some red flowers or potentially honeycomb. I hope it's honeycomb. Let's just get a little closer. Maybe we can get a better glance. But, that might be comb. Yeah, it's honeycomb. Good. So we know where some honeycomb. But, we want that red flower. Got some yellow flower in this tree. Any more red flower real handy before the night goes dark? Night goes dark. Before the sun goes? Yes. Wonderful. Okay. You're too tall for me to go for right now. So as nighttime falls, we will go inside, and this is where we will look to do a little downward digging, I think. So let's get in our home. Let's see, we have a nice little yield. We got seven coal. Very nice. So let's see here. I think we should have the ability to asphalt that's fine what do we need we need two beeswax boo I can't even make a chest you see I can't even get through this this stone all oh, because I lost mine already because it's been harvested stone power so I need stone slabs first off let's get a couple of these potions crafted up Oh no, oh crap, I shouldn't have done that. Oh, whew. Almost used up all my red flower. Look, I can make TNT. That could be interesting. Activate and then run like a leafy. Intriguing. Okay, so we can see we can make a sword. Yeah, let's make the sword. It's leather and a bone. It's good. And I'm going to need stone slabs. Craft up a couple packs. So, for the sword that we just made. Wherever it went. Did I even collect it? I did not collect it. So, for the sword. Just drag and drop in there. And now I have a sword. And now you see that I crafted the sword. I now have the ability to craft armor. Which I'm missing twine for, which is what I use the vines to turn into twine. <laughs> See, I can also craft a stone sword as well, which should be better than a wooden one, but we'll stick with wooden for now. Now that I crafted those potions, I can also craft these, these small pots, which are better. So I should have 12 pots. Yep, I do. So there, heal myself up with two of them. That's fantastic. We'll take those slabs, come back here, build ourselves a nice stone power cell. And now that's done, let's get 
two more extractors made. Collect up the items. Drop on our pack. Oh, I already had one. Duh. Wonder how that happened. Okay, so, uh, I think, can I make any more torches? I can. That's going to give me 24 more torches. Even though they're not the greatest, I'll take them. So, since it's night time, there's not really much we can do outside because I really don't want to die. Let's have a little diggeth down, shall we? Oops, there's a glitch. Floating torches, eh? There we go. That is probably a better place for it. Yes, floating torches would not be good. So, Mr. Developer, you should probably mark something in there where if the torch block behind it disappears, then the item shall also disappear. But I guess since you don't have items that drop like they do on Minecraft to leave entities on the ground, then having it drop off when the block behind it disappears probably won't work so well. Hmm. So I guess that's kind of where you're stuck. So I think I'm down far enough. I got a nice little dig down here. So let's come here and level out. And let's see what we can find here in a resource pile. So you see these are bedrock blocks. So now we're down here. See? Green mu golden mushrooms I can't gather yet. I need to go up to an obsidian pack, I believe, for that. So hopefully we'll be able to find some resources down around here. That'd be nice to find a chunk, a couple chunks of coal or something. Because having seven pieces of coal really isn't that much. I believe I need six just to make the furnace. So, I would prefer to have a wee bit more than just seven pieces. So as you can see, lots of gathering here. It's like no different than any Minecraft game. Or any Minecraft crafting game cube world, those types of games, I mean, it's all grab your resources, get what you need, see that torch is in the drop, boom, and keep on going. I just love the effect of how it sucks it into you, it's a nice little effect they add it. See, it's this magnetite. That's another ore. I believe it's used for transporters. Yes, transporters. Some more of it. Oh, oops. Get back up there. Yep. Yeah. I'm gonna take this as a decent sign that uh, that stuff showing up. Maybe this isn't a bad direction going. But we're going to try and square the room off a little. Like I said, there's only so many packs I have here. Right? Once the stone pack's gone, I have to make another one, which I'm hoping means it will soon be daytime and I can go back outside and scavenge for those for the, the stuff out there. I'm going to need the bees so that I can make the bees wax and then I can make, I'm probably not going to make a wooden chest, so I actually have to because I have to make the wooden chest so I can get access to the stone chest. So we'll have to wait till daytime so we're just going to clear out these two rows here and then we'll go up and we'll check the status of uh, night and day. Kind of sucks. I wish I had a hidden ore or something by now. 
would have been nice. Other than the glowing shrooms, which aren't going to do anything for me until I actually find an ore like obsidian. So, not too sure. Okay, and we're just going to dig in here by two. Well, that's a bummer. I thought there would have been a few more ores to find. Just sucks that I uh, don't have it already. I haven't found anything. That coal was just a lucky grab. Found plenty of uh, glowing mushrooms, but they're not helping me any. That's just more bedrock. Yeah, the staircase was not made good. I always find that as you do the initial dig down, you have to follow it back with taking it down an extra layer just so that you can get the the good jumps for climbing the stairs and you're not so stuck when you're trying to climb. No step assist here. Okay, so let's check the status. <laughs> so I'm assuming it's still daytime, or nighttime. Yeah, um, that's still nighttime. <laughs> Son of a gun. See, also can descend faster. One, two. Okay. soon going to get full. And... I have found the cave. Which means... We are going to... Um, back off. <laughs> And we are going to come back up here and continue to dig. Yes, I think that's probably best. I do not have the resources to uh, handle a cave right now. I have no armor. I have a crappy weapon. daytime soon. Okay. So, some resources here any time would be greatly appreciated. You know, don't make me go into branch mining tactics. I really don't want to have to go into that. No. 
No. No. No. Okay, this is the last chance to be helpful. I hear creatures too. Which doesn't help at all either. So it makes me think I'm like right beside a cave. cleared out and I don't have much to show for it. Well that's kind of depressing and I got a bazillion of one torches set up. Burnt up through a lot of torches down there. Okay let it be daytime so that we can go outside and yes it is. But why are you so foggy? Oh well. Not much we can do about the fog. But there is something we can do about that bee up there. Well, since we used up all of our mossy cobble, our mossy uh, torches, we're obviously going to need to make more. So, let's harvest some more moss. There we go. And now we need to nerd pull our way up. Just so you know, these are super strong, durable leaves. Um, they can handle a lot of weight and tension. So don't be fooled by your regular real life leaves uh, that try to imitate this. These are true, honest to goodness, uh, wicked leaves. Oh wow, now, this was a jackpot. Look at all that, look at all of that. Nice. Nine beeswax, that's awesome. What else are you hiding from me, tree? That it's a long way down? I think I know that. Yoink. Yoink. See, you can even bounce on these trees. Aha. This is very, very precarious. <laughs> Good like that nerd tower left over there now. But no, I am cliff jumping trees. Ooh, that was not right. Yeah, that could have been very bad. <laughs> you know, it's how like chips of wood fly out of it as I hit them. Pretty bad when I have to build a nerd pole up to take down the original nerd pole.
but at least with the too high block jump, it's not so bad. There we go. Hello, neighbor. Thank you for the leather. I'll need it for my armor later. Okay, so we need red flowers. Mine's always good. Perfect. Twine is always good. We like twine. Huh, red flowers. Oh. Red flower. How I like the Ooh, more red flower. Perfect. So, like I said, it's kind of a uh, meeting the neighbors, saying hello, you know. Have you seen my new have you seen my little friend? Yeah, have you? Have you seen him? He says hi. He says hi. And yeah, you just witnessed that, but you stood there and did nothing. There we go. Ooh, hello. Have you met my little friend? I think not. I have crabs because I have now defeated them. Ooh, more bees. More red flowers, too. Bizarre. There we go, that's better. Crabbies usually show up around sand, though. Does that mean... Does that mean that there's sand around? Because glass would be very, very nice. I tell you, I will not say no to glass. Not grass, I say glass. Okay. And... We come here for... Looking around. Where was I? I was over here because there was combs up in that tree. There's another red flower. So as we know, red flowers are fantastic for potions, which we can tell that I obviously need. Moss is good for torches, which I'm going to be running very low on unless I can find more coal. And we have, oh, more beeswax. This is wonderful. Look at all these wonderful resources. After this, we'll go home and we'll make ourselves a nice, lovely chest. Oh wow, that's a nice little hall right there. That was wonderful. Fantastic, even. Oh, it's raining. A very rainy area, I find. Oh, lots of combs here. Nice. Damn, the tree I stole the red flower from had combs in it to it, too. Nice. Lots of them. Okay. Okay. Uh, a couple of combs. Nice. 
maybe more than just a couple. Oh, you had a red flower embedded in you, eh? <clears throat> you were very, very sneaky about it. So, that crab was over here. Does that mean that... <laughs> there is sand. Aha! I knew it. <coughs> Excuse me. So, we must gather some of the sand. For sand is going to be valuable, because it provides glass. And glass is used in other things, and things are such and such a things. And, well, you know what I mean. Anyway, we need some sand. Sand is good to make glass. So I think we've done a good haul here on uh, resource gathering for for this episode. So we'll go back, we'll make ourselves up a nice little chest. I'll show you the teleport feature actually, it's kind of neat. So as you can see on my bar there, I have my bag which is E, and then I have that little um, Block the bag or block beside the bag. That's uh, T. That is the teleporter. So that block I put down on my base, it allows me to teleport to my base anytime I want. There's a, I believe it ha it has a five second counter when you actually activate it. So it's not like it's an instantaneous teleport. Like oh my god, my ass is in trouble. Get me the hell out of dodge. No, it's not that kind of a of a teleport. But it is a kind of a teleport if you go, oh my dear, I am stuck here. I need to get out of here. Saw another red flower in there, I believe. Yeah, too late. It's gone. It's gone. Okay, so we'll do it. Teleport to my base. Four, three, Krabby, but I love you. Oh, he's gone. Crabby's gone. You notice how with the cell I actually didn't have that much um, loss on it for um, for durability. That's because it's a stone cell and it loses durability on anything that's stone or stone related. Anything below its tier does not use durability. Which I thought was kind of a neat little feature. So see, I can make bigger potions now. Ooh, oh. See here, I got the crafting table I can make, I got the forge since I have coal, I can I can make the forge now. I got the processing table which I've been able to make before. Extractor, white beacon, so the, see that's one of the things that needs glass. But what we really want to make is this with the wooden slabs. So we're gonna come here and we're just gonna chop up these. Turn them into slabs. Look at that, 26 comb. That is Fan freaking tastic. That's what I said. Fan freaking 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 tastic. Wow. I've been at this for a while now. This is a long video. I should, probably shouldn't have made it this long. So let's get this chest down. Let's get some stuff out of the inventory and we'll uh, call it a video. Okay. Collection done. Come down here. And we can build one. Now you see, built it. And once I place it, if I come out, come back in, there should be. Come on. Okay, maybe I have. Oh, wait. I know I did it wrong. Collect. Oh, my inventory is full. Um. I'm going to trash the sapling. Okay. Collect the chest. And then we're going to put the chest down here. And we're just going to drop it nicely right there. And see, we can grab all these stones and stuff that I don't really need on me in here. Uh, what else do I need on me? I don't need... Well, actually, let's do this. Let's get a couple chests down. So I don't have a couple chests, I'm not going to get everything in it. There. 
So what else do we want to get rid of? I have a lot of that. Some that, sand, stone, dirt. I like this one. Death statue, a permanent reminder of your embarrassment, embarrassing defeat. Yeah, piss off. <laughs> so that I have to say to you, sir. See, now that chest is full, which is which is no no good, no good at all. So we come back down here. See, now we can make a stone chest, which is bigger. We need melted wax, which means we need a forge to build it. So to get the forge, we need stone slabs. To get stone slabs, I need to have stone back in my inventory. Sure, other players can travel here. There are no other players. No one else plays on this server. It is for I and I, or in this world, I guess, it's not technically a server. It is for I and I alone. And this is my world. So let's build a stone chest, so we have the two different types of chests now. We'll be able to get a good chunk of this out of my inventory. And with it cleared out of my inventory, we should be doing good. So we'll clear this out. Chop. Collect. Um, furnace? What was it missing? Oh, it needs six stone slabs. Okay. Maybe we'll collect those up and we'll cook up a bit more of these while we get that going. So there we go. We can craft up the furnace. Which, look at that. We are on fire. No, literally, we, we can we can make fire. Look at that. Two beeswax cooks up. Sixteen wax. Melted. That beeswax cooks up. Sixteen melted wax. That's a lot of melted wax. And that can be used for a lot of different things. Uh, don't ask me how that happened. Questionable jerky. <coughs> that just sounds wrong. Sorry about that, I had to had to cough. Yes, I have some quest root jerky. Would you be uh interested in eating some of it? And I need a stone rod. A stone rod actually comes from slaps. Where's my slaps? Didn't I I thought I took my slaps. Where's the stone slaps? That's weird. I thought I picked up stone sl Oh. I hate when that happens. Because you're, you're looking in your inventory, you're like, where is it? But it's actually not in your inventory. It's in your friggin' dash bar. And you can't see it when you come in here. See, everything's like time-based. It's all like, wait. Wait for it to craft. It's processing. Be patient. Vladimir said so. Let's get eight rods, and I think that should be enough to do the trick. And we'll get everything organized off. Boom. Yes. You know what? I only got two of those. I don't know if I want to use them all up just yet. There we go. Hey, would you look at that? Wonder bar. We now have done the two different tier chests that we can acquire so thus far. So let's get some of the uh, herbs and minerals in there, if you will. So if we just move all this around, moves, beeswax, hmm. shard, bone. Gunpowder there, see? See, we get a good chunk of stuff moved and placed in their appropriate chests. And I think that's uh, that's good for now. Oh, mushrooms, mushrooms. I didn't get the mushrooms in. I don't have any of the mushrooms in, which is kind of crappy. 
Well then, that's kind of upsetting. That means I need another chest. I think I have the slaps to make it. I'm missing. Ah, the wax. I didn't bring the wax. The wax is still in here. Yoink. Yes. That's right. One more chest. Ah, 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 ah. You must take the chest. There we are. See, now we have now we have all the room we need, see? So now we can put mushrooms away and that away and that away. We don't have to carry around all this valuable crap. And with that and that and that and finally that I think we have ourselves an episode. Yes. So everyone, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate you sticking around and enjoying. I mean, unfortunately, this one did go a wee bit longer than expected. It's almost 50 minutes. Damn. So thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed my running around and meeting of the neighbors. And please join me next time when I do episode three. So thank you. If you like it, hit the like. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. And as always, if you have a comment, a question, uh, you know, want to put in your two cents, hit that comment box below. That's right. So again, thank you for watching, and have yourselves a great evening. Good night.